Until he gives us our place. Yes. Now you have your place in heaven. You were created to worship and to serve this wonderful Lord God Almighty. But it is up to you to repent of your sins in order to get there. Because there is no sin in heaven. There is no sin in heaven. Let me see your hand if you've ever sinned. Anybody ever committed sin? Y'all yeah. have. You see? We have all fallen short of the glory of God, dear yeah. brothers and sisters. Yeah. That's right. But Jesus didn't leave us without help. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> hey, he set it up to where just a few items is going to take two things. Number one. Water. Number two. Spirit. What? Water. What? Spirit. Now it looked like the question should be, how do I get to this water? And what do I do to get this spirit? Because guess what? I'm getting into the gates. Right. Uh, I'm not mentioning about mansion living. Uh, uh, oh yes, we suffer in this world, in this present world. We all have pain. We all have sorrows. Yes. We all been disappointed. Yes. Some of us been really treated really bad. Yes. Abused, mistreated, kicked to the curb. Yes. Some of us has even been, I mean, the things that we went through, only Jesus could have kept us this far. That's right. Yes. If it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? Amen. And he said, listen, dear daughter, listen, dear son, I have a place, I have a remedy for your sins. I want you to identify with me. How do you identify with Jesus Christ? How do you identify with the Lord? First of all, the word of God says that if you be ashamed of him, I will be ashamed, ashamed of you. you. Who here is ashamed of Jesus? Which one of you is afraid to let somebody know you love Jesus. You will hide your faith when you see Jesus. Or do you stand up and be accountable? Okay. Since everybody here loves Jesus. Yes. That's right. Then everybody here should have Jesus' name. Right. He is the bride. Mm -hmm. 
we are his bride. Yes. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. If you're a man and you want to marry a woman, and the woman say, I love you, but I don't want to take your name. What shall the man tell the woman? I don't want you. <laughs> You're not marrying me. I'm so sorry, love. I don't care how cute you are. My name means something to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. That's right. A man values his name. His whole heritage is wrapped up in his name. Uh -huh. Who he is, who he will be, and who will come from it is wrapped up in the identification of his name. How much more does the name of Jesus mean to us? How much more should he have a right to his bride if we love him? 